All right, and we are live. And if everything is going well, we are live on Facebook and on YouTube, <laughs> which would be fantastic if technology works. So uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, just say hi real quick so that I see that this works on Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just type hi or hey, Marcus, or anything in the comments or what the weather is doing for you right now. I'm in Austin, Texas, as you know, and right now, oh dear Lord, let me see, the mic is on, good. We have a storm coming through here. It's pretty windy, it's pretty windy, but the sun is shining, so it's good. Hey, Eric, good to see you. Thanks for confirming that uh, at least we're live on Facebook. That's what it sounds, uh, that's what it looks like right now. Good, let me arrange a few things on the screen here to make sure. All right, so how are we doing on YouTube? I see a few comments coming in from Facebook, but I wanna make sure that we are live on YouTube as well. So let me know if we are. So Eric says, you're windy there too. All right. Well, I guess we're getting started. And uh, if YouTube is not working for us, so be it for today. <laughs> it says it's sending data. Wow. Who knows? All right, let's get started and uh, rock and roll. Still says it's sending data to YouTube. All right, who knows? Who cares? All right, today is Thursday, April 18th. And today we are going to talk about what's happening in the markets. And we had another IPO today that we're going to talk about. Uh, we're talking about the stocks that I'm trading right now. We will also talk about what motivates you and not specifically you, but us as humans. What's motivating us? Uh, what, what is det determining the way you look, the way you dress, how much money you make, your relationships? So this will be interesting. And we're also going to talk about bulls versus bears. What does this mean? See, some of you might be new to trading and wondering when people talk about a bull market or a bear market, what exactly are they talking about? What is this all about? Now, if this is your first time here, hi, I am Marcus Heidkotter and I show people how to generate an income by trading stocks and options. But not how you might think. You see, people come to me because they want to make enough money with trading so that they can quit their job and spend more time with their families and, and travel a lot like I do. And even though they already have saved some money, they, they tell me that they don't get enough returns to be able to quit their jobs anytime soon. And, and then they tell me that, it ma that this makes them feel stuck and frustrated. Now, if all this sounds familiar to you, you are not alone. Lots of people go through this and here's what I tell them. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. And trading can be simple, and I will prove it to you. But uh, first of all, here is what's happening right now, especially in my life. Here is what I got today. Today in the mail was the copy of the new book, The Power X Strategy. So good news, bad news, the new copy is there. This is the proof copy and the proof copy means that you're looking inside and see if you like what you see. And I don't. <laughs> so what does this mean? Uh, we need to go back and uh, do a few more edits, which means that it will uh, push the release date probably back uh, for a couple of weeks. But there's a few things where I think that uh, we can do a better job of, uh, of formatting it. So right now, I want to say this is probably a very, very solid 90% solution, maybe even 95%. And I would like to get it to 98%. I know that we can get it to 100%. I am a perfectionist. And if you would wait until it really every single thing is perfect, you would never, ever get this book, which I think you want because you're going to love it. Anyhow, so we will uh, work on this a uh, little bit more formatting. I would say probably one more round and then we are ready to go and I'll let you know how exactly you can get your hand on it. I don't know yet how it works. The, probably the easiest well will be ordering it through our website and we'll make it available there. And then at some point, I believe it could be available at Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Not quite sure about that yet. So it's 
probably way easier if you order it directly uh, from our website. So, <laughs> by the way, if you're enjoying this show thus far, make sure that you hit the like button or one of the thumbs up so that you see that you are here. And uh, that's what I want to look for. Still nothing on YouTube. That is so odd. <laughs> okay. Whenever you think that you got technology figured out, right, it throws you for another loop. Well, so be it. So let's talk about what happened in the markets today. Let's switch over to the markets. And here we see the Dow Jones. And as you can see today for the Dow, it opened higher. Then we had this huge drop, but then it was up, up and away. So for today, the Dow up, uh, what is it, 110 points, 0.4%. Um, uh, S&P a little bit less, um, very similar pattern here, but we didn't open as high in the S&P. So this is why uh, the S&P only up 1.6% and uh, the Nasdaq uh, also up only 0.1%. So today the Dow is the winner. So what are the stocks that everybody is talking about? Well, <laughs> if you have been following the markets at all, that then you know that today Pinterest had its IPO. Today Pinterest was trading for the first time and here's what happened. So um, Pinterest had their debut. They priced their shares at $19 per share. And look at this, right now trading at $24.50. So yes, nicely up for the day. Hey, it is day one. And if you remember, we saw something very similar a few days ago with Lyft. So Lyft had its IPO. Um, let's just uh, go to a daily chart here. Uh, kind of see it here. Yeah. So Lyft had its IPO on uh, March 29th and uh, today is April 18th. So what a little bit more than two weeks ago. And as you can see, what happened to Lyft is that it dropped down. Initially, the, pri uh, the shares were priced at $72, went all the way up. Then we had a dead cat bouncing and now it is just in free fall down. So let's see what happens to Pinterest if Pinterest follows what we saw with pretty much all other IPOs thus far because every single IPO or not every single one. I, I think we did a comparison a few a few weeks ago where we looked at uh, popular IPOs and uh, I believe out of the eight IPOs, the initial public offerings, meaning when a stock is traded first in exchange, out of the eight that we looked at, six were down and only one or two were up. So what does that mean? It means trade what you see, not what you think. Stay away from these mainstream stocks. Just stay away from all the hype. We talked about it when the Uber driver talks about the stock and says, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy pins, Pinterest or Lyft. This is when uh, it means you should stay away. At least that's what I do. So let's talk about the stocks that I am trading right now. Let's go back and uh, take a look at the stocks. For the past two days, I have been traveling. I was in Dallas uh, speaking at the AFTA, the Association for Technical Analysts. Uh, so I went to Dallas. It was great. While I'm doing it, I'm still keeping an eye on the market, uh, but I was speaking at night. So therefore, I did not uh, place any new trades. I still have the positions uh, that I was in pretty much at the beginning of the week. And we can take a look at those really quick. So I believe this is what en I entered last week. Boot. So boot is one of the positions that I entered. And as you can see, entered here and at first it really looked good, but now it is slightly down here. So we will see, maybe we're getting a black bar, meaning that uh, right now, yeah, we, we get a black bar. I can already see it here. So this means that I will enter boot uh, on Monday. Why on Monday? Because uh, tomorrow markets will be closed in observation of Good Friday. So markets are not open for tomorrow. So Monday I'll uh, enter boot. now. The cool thing is when you apply the principles that I use, and as you know, I like to use the PowerX uh, optimizer. This is the software, how I determine my entries and exits. Then you know that there are three ways to exit. First, you exit either with a profit target or you exit with a stop loss or you exit when the stock is not going anywhere. Meaning that uh, when you see a black bar, this is when you get out and this is what's happening to boot here right now. So I will exit boot on Monday. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, so SLCA is another stock 
And SLCA uh, was a great stock. I traded it a few weeks ago, uh, made money on that stock. Right now, as you can see, entered and it's trading. It's hovering around the entry price. I entered at $17.80 right now, down seven cents. So not a big deal. I'm waiting for an explosive move here with SLCA and uh, pretty sure it's gonna happen. And if not, no worries. So two other stocks that I'm in right now, uh, GDS is another one. GDS very nicely, uh, as you know, it was nicely going up. So was able to take some profits off the table. Uh, this is why we are using conservative uh, exits. And uh, if you are interested in what that is and how it works, please go to mytradingroutine.com. And if somebody could type it in the, in the comments, that would be fantastic. Mytradingroutine.com is a website that I set up for you. And on this website, I'll tell you exactly the three indicators that I like to use to determine my entries. I show you exactly of uh, when I take profits and I show you exactly um, when I when I exit with a loss. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I just looked outside the window because right here, as I'm looking at the camera, it's outside the window and there's really a massive storm going on right now. It is super, super window, uh, windy. Anyhow, so what we were talking about, GDS. So I took some profits there. So right now on this stock, I cannot lose. And uh, let's see, thus far, we'll see. Probably enter exiting with a black bar and then make money on this. Last stock that I have in my portfolio here is uh, Ryan. So this one where also took some profits already. And right now, as you can see, nicely in the green, can lose on this one anymore. So these are the four stocks and uh, looks really, really good. I chose not to enter any new positions today. I didn't even check last night because uh, markets are closed tomorrow. So we do have a long weekend. And it's not a hard rule for me, but I just decided, you know what? I have four positions in uh, in my portfolio. That's fine for now. I don't need to uh, need to enter any new positions. Now, uh, as I said, I'm using PowerX Analyzer to find uh, my stocks, calculate my entries and my exits. And if you are interested, please go to mytradingroutine.com. This is where I uh, just want to show it to you very quickly what this looks like. If you go to this website, mytradingroutine.com. So as you can see, I have a quick video here that shows you what I do. And if you're interested in learning more about the software, the PowerX Optimizer, then you can schedule a demo with Rachel or Paul that uh, walks you through the software so that you see what this is all about. All right, so back to this. Is this helpful? So are you enjoying this? Uh, if this is helpful, please let me know. Type in a comment. Let me know if this is helpful. Also, let me know if you are in any of the stocks that I'm in right now, because some of you are already our, our customers and students and uh, have PowerX Optimizer. And if you are in any of these stocks and took some profit, let me know, um, because it's always good to hear about your successes. All right, very cool. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about bulls versus bears. What does this mean? For, for some of you, it might be confusing when traders use all this, this traders lingo like bull market and bear market. So we're going to talk about this. Um, but before we do this, let's talk about something else. So what's motivating you? What is driving you? What, what is making you do the things that you do? We'll talk about this right now. You see, there are two things that are driving you, two things that motivate you, two things that determine the, the way you dress, two things that determine how you look, uh, how, how much money you make, your, your relationships, your, your friends. So what are these two things that are driving pretty much everything you do? So here they are. Number one, it is your values. And number two, it is your beliefs. So let's talk about this. Everybody has values. And when it comes to values, it is a hierarchy. So what could be values? So values is that you say, I, I value family or I value money because for you, money might mean freedom. That's what it does to me. I mean, money equals freedom to me. So what, what else could be a value uh, that you have? It's, it's love, right? Being loved or, or loving could be contribution, uh, giving back, right? Or, or charity work. Uh, one of your values could be safety and security. By the way, safety and security, some people think that 
Safety and security means having a job. I know that you are different because having a job and having security is an illusion. Now, you know that I used to work for IBM and shortly before I left, IBM announced a merger with PricewaterhouseCoopers. And during a merger, you know what happens. During a merger, there's cost cutting. So I believe it was close to 5,000 jobs would be gone in the blink of an eye. Now, when I do my live events, I regularly talk to people who said, you know what? I was with the company for 30 years and then I got laid off just like this. So I believe people who say, you know what? I don't want to be an entrepreneur. I don't want to trade. I don't want to invest in myself, in my education. I just want to have a job. Job security is an illusion. So, but we're talking about value. So what could be another value? Another value for some people is working out and staying in shape, being healthy, right? So the important thing is you must know your values. And here's why. When there's a conflict, the higher value win, wins. Now, we, we talked about it, uh, I think it was a few days ago, and there's probably another video that you find about it, about the, the, the five things that could be uh, values in your life, and it could be, for example, uh, family, friends, being healthy, right? Having a career or a thriving business. So there's a few things, and uh, it was Randy Zuckerberg who said that she believes you can only focus on three, and that's true. So. If, if you think about it, if you have all these different values, right, the highest value in your hierarchy that you have wins. Now, I will tell you my values uh, that, that I have. The, the main three, I have lots of values, of course, but the main three that are guiding my decisions, right? So the first one is money. Absolutely. And here is why. For me, money equals freedom. And this equals happiness, right? I mean, money allows me to afford the things that I want to buy. Uh, it allows me to travel. It allows me to do whatever I want to do. So that's definitely one of my, my high values that I have. Another one is family, especially my kids. And, and you know this, if you have met me at any of our live events, I'll talk about what I want to have written on my tombstone because we we all we are born on one date and then we die and, and in between we have this dash that is representing your life. Now for me here is what I want people to say about me. I want to say that I was a great dad and a great teacher. So back to my values, money definitely one, family especially kids another one and the third one and this is where it goes back to what I want to have written on my tombstone is contribution. Absolutely. This is why I'm doing this video. This is why I'm doing the podcast. This is why I'm doing the live events because I am very fortunate. As you know, I made it. I am a multimillionaire and I believe for me it is time to give back. And this is why I love showing others of how I personally trade, how I invest in real estate and other things that I do. Now, for example, for me personally, values that are rather low on the hierarchy are security. <laughs> because if you know me, then you know that I'm the kind of a daredevil. Not, not really in a sense of that I'm jumping off roofs, but you see, I jump out of a plane and, and build the parachute on the way down, if you know what I mean, right? So <laughs> for me, it's not super important to have a, a job security where I have a paycheck every month. I mean, if this would be important to me, I would still work for IBM, right? Also, what is not high on my value hierarchy is, for example, working out. Now, there are some people, as you know, who are just gym rats, right? I mean, they get up in the morning and they go to a gym, uh, otherwise they don't feel good about themselves. That's not me. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong. It's just important that you know your values because they govern what you do. Now, the other thing that uh, influences what you do and who you are is your beliefs. Now, here's the important thing. What you believe to be true is true for you. For example, if you believe that making money is hard, you will make it hard to make money. If uh, you choose to lose some weight, but then you tell yourself, I'm, I'm big boned or I have a slow metabolism, 
then it will be difficult to lose weight. Now, let's turn this around in a positive way because I believe in being positive. You know that about me. So, one of the beliefs that I have, one of the beliefs is making money is easy. That's what I believe, right? Uh, because otherwise, obviously, I wouldn't be trading. I wouldn't invest in real estate. I wouldn't run a business. So this is one of the things that I believe. I also believe one of my core beliefs is it can be simple. And this is why the trading methods that I use are simple. In my, in my business, Rockwell Trading, I mean, my, my team knows it. I always say, it can't be that complicated. There must be an easier way. It must be simple. So, there's another belief. Now, a third belief that I have is that I am, how do I call this? Not, not a multimillionaire. I am a hundred million millionaire. So, and, and honestly, for me, that is a limiting belief. I absolutely believe, uh, I mean, deep in my core, I know that it is possible for me to make a hundred million dollars in my lifetime. Now, you might be wondering why when I say that I can make a billion dollars. Well, again, this is right now one of my limiting beliefs. I don't think that I can become a billionaire. And hey, I might prove myself wrong. <laughs> which I love to do. But, but my core belief is, I mean, this is when, when I wake up uh, in the morning with every fiber inside me, I believe that I will make a hundred million dollars in my lifetime. So, what, what do you think? These, these beliefs are pretty powerful and I, I hope that you have these powerful beliefs. And it might be that right now that your first belief is that I am a millionaire and that is good. That's how I started at first. I mean, when I had very little money, I said, I am a millionaire. I know that I can make a million dollars. That was my belief. Then I made a million dollars and I said, okay, I am a multimillionaire. And then I made a few million dollars. And now I'm saying I will be able, or I can, I will, I will make a hundred million dollars in my lifetime. Anyhow, so the two things that are motivating me, the two things that are motivating everybody are your values and your beliefs. Therefore, it is really important that maybe right now, take a few minutes and write down what are your values and what are your beliefs. Or you know what? Even better, if you want, leave it right now in the comments, which are some of the values that are really high on your hierarchy of values and what are some values that are rather low, if you want to share this. I mean, you see, I'm an open book. I I have no problem sharing this. And also, what are your beliefs? What do, you, what do you believe with every fiber inside you that you can do? Write this down in the comments. I'm just curious. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. So, I, ho I hope that you found uh, this useful. And uh, if so, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. And if you believe that anybody could benefit from what you just heard and you want to share this, feel free to do this. And as always, give me a like, a thumbs up, or if you're listening to this uh, on the podcast, please make sure to rate the podcast and uh, yeah, and let me know if this is five stars, what you're hearing here, really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so now let's uh, switch back to trading. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about bulls versus bears. What does this mean? What is a, a bull market and what is a bear market? Now, you see, if you're new to trading, all this lingo can be confusing. People talk about bulls and bears and a, a bull market and a bear market. And what does this all mean? Well, I want to make it really easy for you. When people talk about bull or bear market, it means the direction of a market or of a stock. Now, bull means that people believe that a stock is going higher or that a stock has been higher. And bear means that people believe that the stock is going lower. Now, in the beginning, I was really confused about this. So for me, it was important to, to find a way to make it easy for me to memorize when do we talk about a bull market and when do we talk about a bear market? And, and here is how for me it was easy to memorize it. How does a bull attack somebody or another animal or a human? I, I don't know, right? I mean, how does a bull attack? Well, it uses its horns and it, it goes from down to up, right? I mean, 
That's what a bull does. So it, it charges, right? And, dun, 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 and then it lifts up its horns. That's what it does. So this is how you can say bull market means going up. On the other hand, how does a bear attack? How does a bear attack? A bear usually gets up on its two legs, right? And then it's using its claw and it's clawing down, right? So it, it's attacking from top to bottom. And this is how, for me, it was easier to remember that a bear market means uh, that the market is going down because the bear is attacking from top to bottom. So very easy bull market. A bull is lifting its horn when it's attacked. So market is going up bear market when it's going down. Now, how do you determine a bull market or bear market? Now, everybody has a different way to do this. And as you know, I personally like to use three indicators. Uh, which is the RSI, Stochastics and MACD to determine whether a stock is more likely to go up, down or sideways, right? So this is how I determine whether I'm bullish, meaning that I believe that a stock is going up or whether I'm bearish. And if you would like to learn more about this, please go to a website that I set up for you. It's mytradingroutine.com. And uh, on this website, you will find a 35 minute video that shows you exactly how I do this. So this is how I do it personally. Now, in general, when you hear it in the news, when somebody is talking about a bear market, that overall we are in a bear market, here's what this means. It means that prices fall 20% from the most recent high. So meaning the market made a, made a high and then it was going down, 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 down. And when we are down at least 20% from the most recent highs, this is when you hear the media and analysts talking about we are officially in a bear market. Now, on the other hand, this is exactly how also a bull market is defined. So after a drop, right, if now prices are rising 20% after a drop, this means that now we are officially in a bull market again. So again, I, I know that for some it might be confusing to hear about all these bull market and bear market stuff, right? And then the analysts say that they will expect a bear market this year. So now you know what it means. It means that people are expecting that the market will go down by at least 20%. So short summary, bull market means it's going up. A bull is attacking with, it, with its horn for horns uh, from down to up, right? And a bear market means that the market is going down like this. Again, this was just a very brief explanation. And uh, as you know, there's way more videos here on this YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, there's also tons of more videos uh, that show you, especially when you're a beginner on how to get started. But I think it's important that you know the lingo and know what a bull and bear market is. And now you know, and you are super smart right now and can impress your friends. <laughs> okay. so. Was this helpful? Uh, if so, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube and make sure that you're also hitting this little bell and maybe we can have a graphic that right now has the bell coming in here. Uh, anyhow, because this will give you a notification whenever I post a new video. If you're watching this on Facebook, on the top of the page, you see notifications. And if you click on notify first, or I believe see first, this is how you can make sure that you're not missing any of the videos that I'm posting for you. All right. I hope you enjoyed watching this show as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as you know, if you know anybody who, find might, uh, who might find this video helpful, please feel free to share it. Now, since you're here live, I want to make sure that I'm also looking at some of the comments of, uh, that you left here. So it's so good to see you here. Lorena, Nicole, Connie, good to see you. Uh, Navid, so good to see you. Eric here, Debbie, Liz. All right, fantastic. Marina says, uh, missed watching you for the last few days. Yes, sorry about this. I was I said, traveling to Dallas and I had quite an adventure here uh, with my Tesla. 
By the way, if you haven't had a chance to listen to my new podcast, I, I, I have two podcasts. So I have one for trading where we post these videos that I'm doing here, right? And so we, we take the audio out and when it makes sense, when I'm not talking about the charts, we post it at the podcast. And this podcast is called The Truth About Trading. Now you'll find this on Google Podcasts, on Spotify, on iTunes, and I hope that you already subscribe to this. Now, in addition, I thought it would be fun to also do a personal uh, podcast. And what's going on on this personal podcast? It, I'm just sharing what happens throughout my day. So it's not trading related, but this is where I share my my fun that I had with my Tesla driving up to Dallas. And uh, you can just Google it, uh, look for my last name, Heidkotter. Uh, go to iTunes or podcast, or maybe we can post a link here. I'll see what we can do about this. And uh, this lets you know what's going on, Marina, in my life. And this way you know of why I'm doing Facebook Live or why I won't be able to do it. So if you're curious about this, and again, if you don't care, if you say, what about I care what's going on in your life? Hey, no worries, right? <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to do this. And uh, for right now, I enjoy doing this. All right, Eric, be a billionaire. I love this, Eric. I, I love this about you. Uh, you, I know uh, we have met personally. Uh, you have been an entrepreneur for what, the last 20, 30 years, right? Which is fantastic. And I know that these are also the values that you're passing on to your kids, which I think is is fantastic. Hey, Angelina, so good to see you. And uh, Angelina says, good analogy. I can remember it with that example. Okay, that is fantastic. All right. Oh, dear Lord, time is flying when you're having fun. We are already on the air for more than 30 minutes, 31 minutes and 25, says my trusted watch here. So as you know, I like to keep these live shows to 30 minutes or below. So, so good to have you here. So good to see you all here. I hope that you enjoyed it as always. And I look forward to talking to you very, very soon. Y'all have a fantastic day and please make sure to share this video if you found this beneficial and if you believe that somebody else who you know can uh, can benefit from it, share it or just tag a friend and uh, say, hey, check out this video here. Cool stuff. We'd much appreciate it. All right. Take care and you have a great day.